Okay, trigger warning. Cool. Cool. Ooh, we got a spicy one. Okay. Yesterday, this tweet started making the rounds. The tweet shows a new Chrome request uh, that is currently on the 10.1.5 PTR. Basically, if we have a look at the quest, uh, the Dragon Soul has disappeared, okay, and we need to go find it. Uh, but as you can see at the bottom of the quest, it says, let's let's not tell Alex Draza about this one. Now, the WoW lore community are basically saying this quest makes us complicit with... Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it, uh, but with the, with the rape of Alex Straza. Now, I'm not a lore nerd, okay? Despite me playing the game since vanilla, I don't really know what's going on when it comes to the lore. But I've done a little digging, I've asked some friends, uh, and let's try and understand uh, this timeline and try and understand uh, why people are so up in arms about it. Now, it is worth mentioning that this lore involving Alex Strasser dates all the way back to 2001, so before World of Warcraft was even a thing. But this hasn't stopped a lot of the lore community on Twitter calling for it to be completely retconned, or the quest removed entirely. Okay, so let's try and understand a little bit more. Uh, I found this little bit of uh, information. Uh, actually, it was shared to me, uh, and it kind of explains the situation. So let's uh, let's just quickly read this. Skull Crusher still holds the demon soul and wields it against the captive Alex Straza, forcing her to mate with her consorts to produce more dragons. Now, reading that, um, it does sound kind of, for lack of a better term, a little bit rapey, um, but as people are saying within the law community, us going back to that timeline to ensure the Dragon Soul uh, is found and returned uh, to Skullcrusher, it kind of reinforces the inevitable of her becoming a captive and being forced uh, to breed. It is rather puzzling uh, due to Blizzard's recent history that they would go down this route because make no mistake, we don't have to. They don't have to create this quest and go down this particular timeline, but for whatever reason, uh, they have chosen uh, to do so, and it kind of puts Blizzard in a really tough spot now. They're not going to be able to please everyone, okay? But if they're expected to change law from almost 20 years ago, what are they going to do about similar events that we've had? Because, believe it or not, during the long, extensive Warcraft timeline, we have done a lot of horrible, horrible things. Uh, even, well, not even horrible, we've witnessed horrible things. Even recently, um, only a few years ago, we had the, you know, the burning of Tidrasil. Nonetheless, Blizzard have found themselves in this position. In fact, they've probably put themselves in this position because, like I said earlier in the video, they didn't have to do this. But for whatever reason, they have. Uh, now they've once again found themselves in hot water. There is quite an uprise about this particular uh, quest because it does hit home uh, for certain people, certain victims uh, of society, and it might be a little bit too close to home to uh, witness when you're trying to escape that into a video game or things like that. Uh, whereas there's the other side where people will you know bring up the fact that we have had genocide and things like that so it's a really tough one and something that just did not need to happen from blizzard's end uh what do you guys think let me know um but yeah until next time